Okay everybody, so I'd like to give you a quick look at the electronics um, I have on my Goblin 420. And also maybe some upgrade uh, stuff that I've purchased. Um, I haven't flown the helicopter too much. I had about two good flights on it. Um, we had some uh, issues when we did the mating. Um, during the mating, we found that the uh, VSAT uh, the NEO with the uh, satellite attached was uh, basically browning out or shutting off the, uh, the NEO um, and we were losing single um, obtaining a RC packet lot in the log. But that was all solved when we switched over to a NEO with uh, V-Link. Um, that seemed to solve the issue and was a pretty quick fix because I had crashed my uh, 550 so I just popped the uh, Neo off of that and um, loaded the file into VBAR control um, and then put this uh, that VBAR Neo onto the Goblin. Now on, I'm not really a big fan of spending crazy money on small, for servos for small helicopters. Um, for this helicopter, I basically put on the uh, DS215MG servos, which are relatively inexpensive servos, um, but high voltage uh, servos. For the tail servo, uh, I put another, the uh, KST DS565X. Um, and I think these servos appear to be doing a very good job. So my heli buddies, they flew it, um, particularly my friend Rob Khan. He really set up the uh, the uh, Neo and, and helped me get it all running. And he did the maiden flight, saved it when it almost crashed with when we had the VSAT on there. Um, and then once we got it running, um, his son Devin really put it through its paces. Um, and all I could say is it's it's flying beautifully. You know, I, my one thing I would say that from the two flights that I actually flew it, I would say it, it feels very fluid. If that's a good way to explain it, um, and I, I I totally love it. I'm really happy I purchased this helicopter. Um, I mean, I think it's a very nice looking helicopter. It's different than the than the other types that I have. Um, it definitely has that crazy goblin sound to it. Um, but it is kind of nice and quiet, and again, it just it felt very smooth, if if anything, when I when I flew it. So I'm really looking forward to to putting it through its paces. Now the the motor I have on mine um, is the uh, 925 kV motor. Um, it's the uh, 500 XF from KDE Direct, um, and it's just a sweet looking motor um, and pop that on there and I have right now I have the 20 tooth pinion on the motor to give me a gear ratio of 6 although in the booklet SAB um, subscribes using a 20 tooth pinion with this motor um, at some point later I will probably uh, purchase 22 pin tooth pinion and see how I feel uh, with that As I said, I'm running a V-Bar Neo uh, V-Link, um, but for the ESC, I have the 100 amp um, Hobby Wing. The 100 amp Hobby Wing V3 Platinum, um, you know, relatively, for the money that you spend, relatively inexpensive. Um, and, you know, I've had this on my Dominator 550. Uh, L from a line and I ran uh, same same ESC and you know I went all summer with that ESC on my 550 flew it through the crazy heat never once had any issue with that ESC um, and the ESC also comes with um, comes with a little fan that you can install I did not install the fan on the got on this on the 420 because I doubt for this size it will need it Although I do run it on my uh, on my Dominator um, all the time, especially during the heat, 
Um, and it's really, I mean, you just plug it in and it goes. Here's a view of the uh, Hobby Wing 100 amp V3 on there. Give you kind of an idea how the fit is. It's, it's definitely a tight fit. Um, I kind of have it skewed a little bit because I found the cables on the other side were a little bit long. It kind of helped me space everything out. Um, but it definitely fits in there, no doubt about it. And again, they, uh, you know, SAB does kind of recommend 100 amp ESC. Um, I'm sure some people will say you really don't need 100 amp. Um, but I'm pretty happy I got the, uh, put the 100 amp on there. Pretty much, I have three Pulse uh, 2600 packs, um, and I got these from Anthony's Hobby Shop. Uh, they're 45C. Um, so far, I've used about two of them. I'm still got to stick this guy on a pack, um, but I'm getting definitely over uh, four minutes flight time, no problem, at 3,000 RPM with these. And you can see also on here that you know when you talk about balance on the helicopter. To balance it out, the pack is pretty much pushed all the way to the back um, to get a good center of gravity. I ended up buying uh, two Turnigy packs. So I got the, uh, the Turnigy Nanotech 2200 milliamp hours. Um, so I'll see how these do. I mean, I'm sure I'm not going to hold up like the pulses do, but you know, it's still going to be an extra two batteries, and who knows, you know, maybe the weight difference. You know, there, there definitely is a difference in size between the two. Um, so, maybe I'll be able to actually notice that okay, in flight. So I got the um, quick release canopy set mount for the Goblin uh, 420. Um, now, on the package it says 380, but it's also, um, according to SAB, it also works on the 420, which makes sense. Um, but I got that. Now, I have to say, I don't really like the uh, supplied system from SAB. Um, for taking the canopy on and off, not really too crazy about that. Um, and but to be honest, you know, a lot of manufacturers, I don't really like the way, you know, they have you take off the uh, canopy. Um, for example, line. Um, you know, usually something like RC Booyah is the way to go. Um, but again, I got the uh, I got this uh, quick release set, um, and you know, from the reviews I saw in Howie Direct, people. You know, so it is expensive, but it's the way to go. So, uh, especially when you got a nice, nice canopy um, that the Goblin comes with.